good afternoon to all the dear brothers and sisters in Christ. So, hope uh, the first session was uh, useful for you. So, where we studied uh, how to study the Bible. The three keys to unlock the Bible. Search the scriptures. Here a little, there a little. Rightly dividing the word of God. We also studied the ten different methods to understand the Bible. So, in this important study, we are going to study now the topical method. About how Jesus is our Savior. We all know that Jesus died for us. He redeemed us from death. Because the wages of sin was death. So, instead of us, Jesus paid the penalty and saved us. Like for example, if you violate any traffic rules, we need to pay fine. But if we are not able to pay the fine and our friend pays the fine instead, then the police person will leave us. Similarly, the world's penalty was sin and death. Jesus paid for the death penalty and redeemed us. Therefore, we read in Acts 4 12. Neither is there salvation in any other name than the name of Jesus Christ. But today, it has been more than 2000 years that Jesus died on the cross for us. How many people have believed in Jesus? If you see the world census, it is only 33% of the world are Christians. So, the, the fastest growing religion today in the world is Islam. The when will the world be converted and come to Christ? Among these 33 percent of Christians, there are namesake Christians also who violate God's words. But yet, Jesus is called as the world's savior. Right? 
John 4:42. So Jesus is the world savior. Let us look what is the meaning of this world savior. He is the world saved today. So many people are dying in bomb blast. Many innocent people are dying in earthquakes. Recently, Turkey, there was a severe earthquake. They never believed in Jesus. They never believed in Jesus. How about them? How can we call Jesus as the world savior? Many people die in accidents. Many kids and children are turned into orphans. In war, war. So how is uh, Jesus called as the world savior? This is the condition today. What about the condition when Jesus came at the first advent? How, how many people believed on him? Even his own people crucified him on the cross. Not, not many believed on him. But how can we call Jesus as the world savior? When the world itself is not saved. Few people tell that by the second advent of Jesus, the whole world will be converted to Christianity. But what does the Bible say? Will the whole world be converted to Christianity before second coming of Jesus? We just now studied how to study the Bible. Here a little, there a little, very good. So let us read what does the Bible say regarding second advent of Jesus. Lucas, 
As it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the days of Son of Man. That means the people who lived during the Noah's days were not good. That is the reason God destroyed in the flood. Similarly, at the second advent of our Lord, the world will be wicked. So, the conversion of the world before second advent of Christ is out of question. Jesus knew this one, therefore he put a question saying, when I return, will I find faith on earth? Luke 18 8. Very good. So, this is the condition of today's world. After 2023 years, only 34% of the world is saved. What about the people who lived before Jesus Christ? How will they be saved? Because Jesus is called the world savior. So, for this, there is a suggestion that before Jesus, there was a period of 4,000 4, years. From Adam till Moses was a period of conscience. Manasakshi Conscience. Okay, Vivek. Okay. So, from Moses, God gave the law. So, before the law, God will judge those people as per their conscience. And uh, after the law, the people will be judged as per the law. So, this is the general thought that is believed the salvation for the people before Christ. But what does the Bible say? Can any, anybody be justified by the law? Read Romans 3.20. Very good. So, this verse clearly tells Nobody is justified by the law. 
पचने से प्रस्ते भने को साथ कोई पनी व्यवस्था द्वारा से धार्मी तहार गए ना। So all are condemned, condemned as sinners as per the law. अने व्यवस्था ऐसे सभी जहाँ जब पापी चम मनेरा बना हुआ सा। If somebody were to be justified by the law, then God wouldn't have sent Jesus Christ at all. That's what Apostle Paul tells in Galatians 2.21. Please read Galatians 2.21. So, if somebody was to be justified by the law, then the death of Christ is a waste. So, this clearly proves that nobody can be justified by the law. If nobody is justified by the law, think about the period before the law. When there was no law and only conscience was there, can anybody live as per the conscience and be justified before God? No. That's what Apostle Paul is debating in Romans 3rd chapter. Therefore, in conclusion, it tells in verse 9 and 10 that all are sinners, there is none righteous. Therefore, if you see, the people who lived before Jesus Christ, they should all go to help. And only 34% of the Christians in the gospel age, they should go to heaven and the rest of all the mankind should go to hell. Then how can we call Jesus as the world savior? Why he is saving only 34%? What about the balance 66%? Still, there are many people who are born, you see, not matured. And there are so many kids who, who, who die as soon as they are born. What about their salvation? How will they be saved? Dear brethren, this is the very, very important question and we need to see the answers from the Bible. How Jesus is the world savior? How could Jesus die for us? 
Where did Jesus die? Did he die in India? Did he die in Nepal? Where did he die? Jerusalem. Okay, when did he die? Did he die yesterday? When? How many years before? How many years before? 2000 years before, we were not even born. How can a person die for us even before our birth? How is Jesus the world savior? We never believed Jesus since our birth. It is only after our birth that we started to believe in him. How is the world savior? Now let us read our verse. First Timothy, second chapter, three to six. Very good. So this verse says, Jesus gave a ransom for all. Chutkara mol. Correct? So in English, the word is ransom. In Greek, the word is anti neutron. Chutkara mol means corresponding price. So let me give you an example. If we take one gram of gold to a Girvi shop and uh, giving one gram of gold, how much money will he give us? He will give what is the value for one gram. He won't give more, he won't give less. This is the meaning of corresponding price. You know who is this? Who is this person? He was a famous forest brigand, a Dakai in India. Virpan. He was a famous Dakai in India. Once he kidnapped India's most powerful actor. Actor. Actor, right? He was a Sorry. Then Virapan asked so much of money to release this actor. That amount was the price for this actor. Similarly, Jesus gave the price. Okay, what price he gave? What price did God demand? 
It is given in Exodus 21, 23 to 25. Please read. Please read. Uh, read. Very good, brother. Nuksani, Pran for? Pran. Correct, brother? Ah, no, wait, wait. One minute. Very good. See, brother. Aakha ah. gata? Very good. Continue. Very good. Dan for? Teeth. Teeth. For one teeth, how many teeth? Two teeth. One. Very good. Ah. Ah, very good. Then. Ah. Ah. Very good. So here it says, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for a hand, leg for a leg, and life for a life. Correct? Ah. Ah, only one life for one life. Ah. Very good. Like for example, if you take one bus ticket, how many people can travel? All can travel. So we can pass Only one. Oh, very good. Correct. How many people can travel? Only one. Now tell me, how many life did Jesus have? One. Then how did he die for all? Tell me, how can one person die for all? It is impossible. But he has died. How? That one we need to understand very, very importantly. Every Christian should understand this important doctrine. Jesus Christ had only one life. And that only one life he could give only to one man. And that one life Jesus Christ actually gave to only one man that is Adam. Why? Because we have been created in Adam. God first created Adam and through Adam he created Eve. We have, we all have come through that one man, Adam. So we are all dread relatives. Acts 1726. So this verse clearly tells that we are all created of one blood in one man, Adam. 
Adam was the one who sinned in Garden of Eden. And we all received that penalty, death. Read Romans 5.1. Very good. So this verse clearly tells it is by one man that sin entered into the world, not by many. One man, underline that, one man. Because of one man, sin entered into the world and because of sin, death. And this death was passed upon everybody. Therefore, we see the small children that die immediately as soon as they are born. Why? Their mother puts a question, Lord, what did my child do? Why I would take a name? The answer is there only in the Bible. In Romans 3.10 it says, There is none righteous, not even one. Because we were all condemned as sinners in Adam. Therefore, David said in Psalms 51 5, that I was shaped in iniquity and in deep and in sin did my mother conceive me. Each and every child born into this world are born with a death penalty upon their head. Okay, now let us read Romans 5.13. This verse says, Until the law, sin was in the world. But when there is no law, the sin cannot be imputed. What does it mean? Law was given through Moses. From Adam to Moses, it was nearly 2000 years. There was no law. So sin cannot be counted. Hence, legally, nobody can die. But everybody died. Why? Because it was not because of their sin, but Adam's sin that passed upon through him to all of us. Adam 
that is what is given in verse 14 read verse 14 romans 5:14 
Could not his sons go and pay the ransom for Adam? Yahavan ko je dheri ye chora hoke ke ti chora madhe kune ek le je Adam ko ni ti je chutkara ko molti na sabda ne jero. We saw the meaning of ransom, corresponding price. Ani hami le hoke ne ei sa ke ga so ransom hamne sabda ko artha je chutkara ko molti hamne sabda ko artha je saman mulle ho. So Adam's sons were already sinners. A sinner could never go and redeem another sinner. Adam ka santan haru chai Adam jasai perfection lai banayeko thyo tesko thiena hai tei bhaka karane garda hai Adam ko chora haru le chai Adam ko paap lai chai sema garna sambhav thiena. Therefore Romans 3:10 it says there is none righteous not even one. Tesai karan le Bible le Romans 3:10 ko dosh le patanda cha koi pani dharmi chaina. Hence that price would not be equal ani teso bhane adam sang che tyo ki bhaina saman mulya che bhaina unle ko chora haru le che mare ko bhaye pani saman mulya che hudaina thyo okay next option dosro kura che why did not lord send an angel to redeem adam ani parmeshwar le che kina che waha ko angels मानस को संतान के हो रि दृष्टि लगा क्योंकि तबदूत कम बना महिमा आदर को मुकुट पहरावर स्वर्गदूत मानस भन्दा चाहिँ एन्जल्स है चाहिँ अलिकति माथि इफ दे गिव द प्राइस इट विल बी मोर अनि यदि स्वर्गदूतहरु आएर चाहिँ आदमको समान आदमलाई चाहिँ छुटकारा दिनको लागि मरेको भए चाहिँ के हुने थियो उनीहरुको चाहिँ प्राइस चाहिँ बढी हुने थियो सो दिस इज नॉट पोसिबल अनि यो चाहिँ सम्भवै छैन दिस वुड नॉट बी अ रैंसम अनि यो चाहिँ समान मूल्य हुनै सक्दैन Therefore God did not send any angels to redeem mankind. So he can't make God happy. He promised to redeem. So he will do the whole idea. Saman mulya dina kaniti pashmano maina. Next, in the Old Testament, they were giving the sacrifice of animals. Yani le purano parano hai so hai je pasur praniya ko je bali dinhe chalan cha. This could redeem Adam no? मूल्य Hebrews 10:4 and Hebrews 10:4 says batanda sa Hebrews 10:4 Kripaya chitta garna paidinas kinaki sare ra boga gora te papar garna asambhav sa hmm asambhav it is impossible by the blood of bulls and goats to redeem man that means to take away sin it is not at all possible for the blood of bulls and goats yeah hebrew 10 ko chale stay gai bana bataunda cha bahar ra boka haru ko ragat le paap haran garna asambhav cha this price would be low yo mulya chai ke hune cha ekdam kam hune cha therefore when there was no possibility jesus was the final option Therefore, Jesus came to this earth as a second Adam. And so, in that regard, we have a very limited amount of money. That is, the amount of money that we have to pay for the 
कोई भी उपयोगी न भाई कारण ये बड़ा ही जे यीशु कृष्ण ने दोस्तों आराम बनी करना आना भाई If this mobile cost me ten thousand rupees, if uh, somebody breaks this mobile, they should pay me ten thousand rupees. If they pay nine thousand rupees, the price is less. If they tell you, oh, brother, I'll give you eleven thousand rupees, the price is. We might accept, but God doesn't compromise. God's justice is justice. One eye, how many eyes? One eye, very good. One eye is no two eyes. हमी और हमी ले अभी ले पढ़ी सके का सों परमेश्वर को न्याय चाहिए हो ये उटा आँखा को बदला ये उटा आँखा दो इटा आँखा नहीं ना therefore Jesus came as second Adam तो ये कारण ये बात है कि यीशु के सिद्धों से आरुम बनी करना होगा read Hebrews two nine फिर भैया Hebrews दो ही को नौ पढ़ी दोस्त और भैया माफी पढ़ी सो तब जो स्वर्गदूत The same verse we read in Psalm 8, chapter verse 4 and 5, it is given here. This is how we read the Bible, here little, there a little. None shall want or mate. There is a jodi always for the Old Testament, New Testament. For all the questions in the Bible, there is a jodi verse in the Bible. Therefore, Jesus was made a little lower than the angels. Why? This verse tells that by grace of God, he tasted death for all. Every man, every man, not it all. Therefore, Jesus is the only corresponding price. Psalms, book of Psalms. Psalms 
Psalms 49.7 Very good. Now read Hosea 13.14 Hosea 13 chapter verse 14. Therefore, God made an arrangement in sending Jesus as a corresponding price. He came as second Adam. What age was Adam created? He was created at the age of 30 years. Do you have a proof? Yes. Jesus consecrated his life in baptism at what age? 30 years. Why 30 years? He was ready to offer himself at the age of 12 years and he was discussing with the doctors in the temple. For did he come to know from the law that it was at 30 years he had to sacrifice his life as a corresponding price to Adam. Read Numbers 4 3. Uh, that is the age for serving in the tabernacle, 30 to 50. Therefore, Jesus died exactly at the age of 30 years. Jesus that means immersed in baptism at the age of 30 years. What was the penalty that God gave to Adam? If you sin, what will happen? See the Death. Huh? Death. Very good. Therefore, Jesus on the cross, what did he do? Died. Correct? No? Jesus died for us because death was the penalty. This is the corresponding price. Jesus did not die as an infant baby. Infant Jesus, they say no. Bible doesn't say infant Jesus. He died as a mature human being. Then only he can be a ransom for us. He paid his price to Adam. 
He paid his only one life to Adam. But today there is a false organization called as Jehovah Witnesses. Who preach falsely saying that Jesus did not die for Adam at all. Which is totally unscriptural. Jesus is our master, Jesus is our Lord, Jesus is our everything. Then, what is the use of Jesus dying on the cross? What is his plan? How Jesus died for the whole world with just no stop? But what, is the, but what is the benefit? What is the use? Still the word is the same. Only 34% are saved. When will Jesus be the world savior? When will Jesus be the Prince of Peace? When there is no peace in this earth? Only peace, 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 peace. So when is he going to be the Prince of Peace? Let us see what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians 15, 22. Read again slowly. Kinaki, Josari Adam Masaway Morsan, Tesarine Krishna Sawai Judo Parinesan. Adam O. What is there is given? In Adam? Josari Adam Masaway Morsan. Sabi? Sawai Morsan. Marasam. What is the meaning of the term? What is the meaning of the term? Huh? Somebody told them. All day. In Adam. Correct or wrong? Sayo. Sovetan Adam Marsan Sayo. Correct or wrong? Now you tell me, who are all dying in Adam? Adam Masabe Marsan, that is a who person. Who? All. Huh? You have written a clear gap. Christians? Christian or Marsan? They are dying in Adam? Yes. This Buddhist, Hindus, Later we should not change the statement. Correct? You agree? Later we should not change it. You correct now? You are all witness for that one. Okay. In Adam, everybody are dying. Correct now? Now what does the Bible say? Read that verse again. Sabi Jivito. In Christ all shall be made alive. The Bible says in Christ all shall be made alive. Does it say only Christians will be made alive? No, it says all. 
all the people who are dying in Adam, they shall be made alive in Christ. But you tell me, who will be made alive? You all means what? I don't understand English. You please tell me. All means what? Sabi uh, means what? Christians? Uh, Christians? Buddhists? Uh, uh, Jews? Uh, Islam is good. Next. You missed Hindus? Uh, Hindus? Then? All the people. Every religion. Yeah, whether you believe or not, believers, unbelievers, everybody will be made alive in Christ. Correct now? How? Read verse 21. Very good. As death came through one man, as everybody are dying in Adam, Similarly, there shall be a resurrection for all mankind. This is, see, for since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. So the Bible says the resurrection. Punurtan. Punurtan. Ah, Punurtan. Okay. So, Punarjan no. No Punarjan. Punarjan no. There is a difference between Punarjan and Punarutan. Previous Janma, you will be a monkey. This Janma, you will be a human being. Next Janma, you will be a donkey. <laughs> So what is the use? If Gada knows I was like a monkey, at least he'll change. <laughs> so there is no use. So Bible says Punurutan, resurrection. So Puna Ruttan means that's a beautiful word. Your life has stopped. So it will again continue from there itself. Puna means what? Again. Again. Therefore, this Punaruttan will be for whom? Whom? All. Let us read what the Bible says. Acts 24 15. Very good. So there is a resurrection for the good as well as the bad. There is a resurrection for the just as well as the unjust. Now you tell me and ask one question. How many people are just in this world? How many people? How many people? Only few people. Only few people. Few people. Romans 3.10 Very good. Rightly answer. Read Romans 3.10 Prepare, Romy Tinko Dosai, Polyginos. Ah, not even one. Ah, Bible, one that's a boy, but it's China, 
But in Acts 24, 15, Apostle Paul says there is a resurrection for the just and the unjust. If there is no just, then why is resurrection for the just? Then who are these just people? These are the Christians who are justified by blood of Jesus now. Their sins are covered in his robe of righteousness. That is given in Isaiah 61.10. As brother told, it is correct. There are only few Christians who are justified and just in God's sight. So there is a resurrection for the Christians and the non-Christians also. Oh. Jesus himself tells this one in John 5, 28, Yes, Kurama, Otsotanamana, Kinabane, Kyo, Hari, I Rehosa, just Machihan, Peter Raheka, Rosavile, Ulai, Ulko Stores for Nesan, and if Holo Bani Rujiva could borrow your type and empty, the Tustakam, Gordon, and Dr. Ku, borrow your type and empty, Miskia Nesan. Say, here Jesus says, What did Jesus say? How did he begin? He should say, Keep on there, and so I was just to work on the web. Yes, yes, Kurama Atsama Namana. What does it mean? Uh, marvel not. Uh, don't be surprised, he's saying. Hey, Mare Atsama Namana, Bane Raja Mare Shiva Dorn Vaya Sahay. Cut it, then next step. Kina Bane, Teo Ghari Aay Rahe Kucha, Jasna Chihan Vita Rahe Kaharu. What does it mean? Chihan Vita Rahe Kaharu, in the graves, who are in the graves. Ah, see, this is the address of everybody. Address of all the dead people. Where are all the dead people? Kidare Sabi. Sabi Marawa no Kidare. Sabi Mareka Bekti is a council for you. Kidare. Jihad. Huh? Jihad. Jesus tells that one. I am not telling. Jesus says, marvel not. Don't be surprised. You see, everybody are in the grave. But they will come from the grave when when they shall hear the voice of the Son of Man at His second coming. The good also will come, the bad also will come. Now who are these good, who are these bad? So, this is the same just and unjust people that are mentioned in Acts 24 15. So, even the good Christians will also come and the bad unbelievers also come from the graves back to life. 
अने धार्मिक व्यक्ति अरुपनी जस्ते चेष्टा विश्वास करेगा सं वहाँ रुको मनी बहुत उठाए होने सं और जस्ते चेष्टा विश्वास से करेगा सं ना जून से खराब व्यक्ति रो वहाँ रुको मनी जजमेंट Now they have to give me fifty lashes. 
Forget about 50. In one lash, I will go, I will be gone forever. That time, Brother Ashish will come and tell, Sir, he is very weak. Don't give him. Instead of that one, you give me 50 lashes. He will take all my 50 lashes. After that one, if they call me, come Raju, I will give you balance 50, is it correct? Is correct or wrong? No. This is unjust, unnyayat. Unnyayat. Uh, therefore, Jesus said in John 3.17, Son of man came to this world not to condemn the world. Because they were already condemned in Adam. No use of making them stand in the queue. Open the book. Oh, your name is Krishna. One day you drank well. Now you go to hell. Oh, your name is Joseph. Though you drank well, you believe in Jesus. Even last moment your sins are forgiven. You come to heaven. This is not judgment. This is our idea. We should study from the Bible. Not read. This is study. We have a separate class for judgment day. Then we will see what is the real meaning, how the world will be judged. Now let us come back to our subject. So this resurrection of the dead, all the dead people, when will they come back to life? You all know, you see, that Jesus is going to bind Satan for a thousand years. You all know? You all know what's second coming? Good, very good. You all believe in Jesus' second coming? Yes, very good. Amen. Hallelujah. See, Jesus is going to return at the second coming and rule on this earth for a thousand years. And he is going to bind Satan for a thousand years. And in that period, all the dead who come back to life will be given the truth. Read Revelation chapter 20. Read. Read. Ah, Jati Jati? 
किनभने परमेश्वर एकैजना हुनुहुन्छ अनि परमेश्वर र मानिसहरूको बिचमा एकैजना मध्यस्थ हुनुहुन्छ अर्थात क्रिस्ट यीशु ती मानिस जसले आफैलाई सबैका लागि छुटकाराको दामको रूपमा दिइहाल्नु भयो जसको साक्षी ठिक समयमा दियो दिस इज द ट्रुथ देयर इज वन गॉड एन्ड वन मीडिएटर बिटवीन मैन एन्ड गॉड दैट इज जीसस क्राइस्ट यो नै सत्यता हो कि परमेश्वर चाहिँ एकै हुनुहुन्छ र परमेश्वर र मानिसको बिचमा चाहिँ एउटै मध्यस्थ हुनुहुन्छ र उहाँ चाहिँ यीशु ख्रिस्ट हुनुहुन्छ हाउ मेनी क्रिश्चियन्स नो दिस ट्रुथ अनि कति विश्वासीहरुलाई चाहिँ यो सत्यता थाहा छ मेनी पीपल टुडे बिलीव दैट इट इज सेंट एंटोनिया सेंट जेवियर सेंट मेरी सेंट टेरेसा दे आर द मीडिएटर धेरै व्यक्तिहरुले चाहिँ यो कुरालाई विश्वास गरिराख्नु भएको छ कि यीशु ख्रिस्ट चाहिँ हाम्रो मध्यस्थकर्ता नहुनु भएर तर है सेन्ट मेरी भन्ने त्यसपछि अरू के के भन्नु भएको थियो त्यो हो भनेर चाहिँ विश्वास गर्नुहुन्छ सो जिजस इज गोइङ टु कम एट द सेकेन्ड एडवेन्ट टु रिडिल दिस ट्रुथ टु एभ्रीबडी यीशु ख्रिस्ट चाहिँ दोस्रो आगमनमा चाहिँ यही कुराहरू जुन कुरा चाहिँ अहिले गर्दा बोल्छ त्यही कुराहरूहरूको चाहिँ प्रकाश पार्नको निम्ति उहाँ आउनुहुन्छ देयरफोर दिस वर्ड सेज that this is the will of god it is a day you watch and say from the top you promise your good it's a very okay god wants all to be saved not few you want to say to you okay so the problem so we pick the energy and come to the knowledge of truth so we pick the local but say you go i need this because it's not the time again you go so in the thousand years how uh how's our person i think the whole world will be saved from death सबै व्यक्तिहरु चाहिँ बचाइने छन् पहिले अनि कम ब्याक टु रिजर्वेशन इन दिस वर्ल्ड सबै जना चाहिँ पुनर्जन्म हुने छ र यही संसारमा फर्के आउने छन् एन्ड लर्न द ट्रुथ अनि त्यसपछि चाहिँ सत्यताको वचन चाहिँ सुन्ने छन् देयरफोर जीसस टॉट अस टु प्रे अनि त्यही कारणले गर्दाखेरि यीशुले चाहिँ हामीलाई यस किसिमले प्रार्थना गर भनेर सिकाउनु भयो व्हाट इज द लॉर्ड्स प्रेयर अनि यीशुले सिकाउनु भएको प्रार्थना चाहिँ के हो What is the Lord's prayer? Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Why is thy kingdom come? Why thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven? Because that itself is God's plan. किनभने जस्तो शरीरमा मर्नु भएको थियो त्यस्तै शरीरमा उठ्ने छ एन्ड लर्न द ट्रुथ अनि सत्यताको ज्ञान अथवा वचनलाई चाहिँ बुझ्ने छ इट विल बी ओनली फ्यु क्रिस्चियन्स हु विल गो टु हेवन अनि केही व्यक्तिहरु मात्र हुनुहुन्छ जो चाहिँ स्वर्ग जानु हुन्छ एन्ड दिस वे गॉड्स विल बी डन ऑन अर्थ एज इट इज डन इन हेवन अनि यही तरिकाले चाहिँ जिससे व्यक्तिहरुको निम्ति चाहिँ के हुनेछ मुक्ति दाता बन्न हुनेछ व्हेन हिज किंगडम शेल बी एस्टाब्लिश ट्रुली दे विल बी पीस एंड लिव विद द प्रिंस ऑफ पीस जब वहाको राज्य चाहिँ यस पृथ्वीमा आउनेछ तब चाहिँ साच्चै नै यस संसारमा चाहिँ शान्ति आउनेछ अनि वहा चाहिँ वहा चाहिँ शान्तिको दूत भनेसँग चाहिँ कहलाइ हुनेछ May the Lord add His blessings to these words. The Commissioner of Personnel assisting the members. We thank you everybody for listening and uh, staying together in understanding these words. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow.
Lord bless. Lord bless.